Hi, hey, hello, and welcome back to another Paint With Me video. Today I'm going to be painting some scenes from Studio Ghibli, so buckle in and I hope you enjoy. I'll be using this Winsor & Newton gouache paint. I haven't had too much practice with gouache in the past. My main painting background is with acrylic, so we'll see how it goes. First of all, I grabbed my iPad and I've chosen some stills from different Studio Ghibli movies that I love. And these are the two that I've chosen to paint today. I decided to choose this relatively simple one and then this one which is full of flowers. I love that Studio Ghibli is full of nature and I thought this would be great practice for me to do some landscape paintings. So I turned my sketchbook portrait, grabbed my really bendy <laughs> ruler and then drew out some boxes. I sketched out the designs. You know what, my sketches are always super, super messy. I don't think anyone would be able to tell what my sketches are just by looking at them, but in my head, I know what's going on. <laughs> so here they are. And these are some of the paints that I used. So here are my brushes and my palette knife which is super important for mixing paints and then I grabbed my kneadable eraser, just got rid of some of that excess graphite. I started out by mixing some of the key colours that I could see in the reference photos. And then I just jumped straight into the piece. So I started with this one which was a bit simpler than the other image that I chose. Actually all of the videos on my page, on my YouTube page, are using gouache but in my life, in my painting career, I have not used it too much. I started out with acrylics and that is pretty much what I've stuck to for years and years. And I've only recently started using gouache, so this was a really great way for me to try and learn new techniques and um, practice some landscapes with gouache. I went in at first with a really watery light thin layer um, just to block in the colours and then as the painting progressed I used thicker and thicker layers of paint. One thing that I really struggle with is my colours seem to end up pretty muddy because they all mix together because obviously gouache reactivates when you put more layers on so that is something that I definitely need to figure out a way around. I, I, I seem to end up going over the same areas time and time and time again because of this.
this piece has quite a dark and moody atmosphere because it's during a rainstorm in the middle of the night and that was another thing that was pretty hard to capture in the painting because obviously I couldn't use really bright blues, bright greens so I had to dull it all down but then as I was painting I was thinking oh my gosh this looks so dull but that's kind of the point so maybe that was outside of my comfort zone because I kept trying to add brighter colours like you can see on the grass there and I think mine ended up a little bit brighter than the actual original and another thing that I really struggled with was trying to make this little pond look like there were objects underneath the water honestly painting translucent or transparent things is so difficult but it was so fun painting these little water droplets and splashes that was definitely the best part about this one and the little reflections from the leaves into the water oh well also how have I forgotten to tell you that these are actually screenshots from Arietti which is my favourite Studio Ghibli movie I actually only watched it a couple of months ago for the first time and I just fell in love. Little tiny, tiny little people living in a little world just beneath our noses. I've, I always believed that that was true since I was a kid and then watching it was just so adorable. I had to paint it. So what is your favourite Studio Ghibli movie? Let me know in the comments. Or is there any scenes from other movies that you would like to see me paint? Here I'm just adding the finishing little touches, the brightest points with the white gouache. And now on to the next one. This painting was so much more detailed and intricate than the last one. It honestly took me so long, I was not expecting it. If you can see underneath, I have started the sketch for a third painting from the movie but this one just took me so long I did not have time to fit that in and honestly if I'd put this in that this video it would probably be like half an hour long <laughs> maybe it will have to feature in another video so like the first painting I started off with a general kind of wash of color just to get rid of all the white of the page this emerald green gave the forest a really mystical, earthy feel. Like the last painting, this one took layers and layers and layers and layers but I think by the end the build-up of layers really helped to add to the depth of the painting and helped all of the colours to merge together. It helped with the shadows and the feeling that the forest goes on forever but it was pretty tedious. Something that catches me out with gouache paint is they always seem to dry lighter than when you put the colour on. So sometimes if I even feel like I've put it on too dark, it always seems to dry not as dark as I wanted it to be. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was trying to keep my brush strokes pretty loose for this because as the forest is in the background I didn't want the leaves to be too detailed and just to have a general outline of the shapes and that would make all of your attention draw to the front of the piece where all of the flowers will be. So many tiny, tiny little dots, tiny leaves. I just kept going over and over with this tiny brush and adding little, little grass marks, little tiny areas and just building it up and up and up and up. And now I went in with a lighter green to add some leaves that are not in the shadows that are coming down from the tops of the trees where the light's hitting. And doesn't it just bring so much more depth and interest into the piece when those light ones are added. So I started at the background and worked my way slowly into the foreground of the painting so that the layers can go on top of what I've painted before. And so then I started on this piece of grass right at the front. As I was adding slightly different shades of green to the foreground, I also tried to incorporate them into some areas in the background so that it did bring the whole piece together and they looked like they were using the same colour palette and it helped to unify the painting. And now for my favourite part! <laughs> this is why I chose this screen cap in the first place, was adding all of these tiny little flowers. It just makes it look so magical, like a little meadow full of flowers and a little little pond. Oh my gosh, can I please live in this world? I went in with so many different colours. I started off with a pale pink, a hot pink, yellow, orange, white, there's purple, you name it. And of course, I added some flowers into the background too. And then these huge white flowers at the front. I did struggle a little bit with these, with the white flowers, where the paint would mix with the layers underneath, but I think I disguised that pretty well. Look how it's all coming together in the last few minutes. It just completely gets full of life when all these colors are added. And then just to darken up the contrast between the foreground and background, I added another dark layer. And I think that really brings out the space, the spatial awareness, I guess, of the piece. And here are the final paintings. Let me know which is your favourite. I really enjoyed painting both of these and I think they work really well nicely next to each other. Just look at how many tiny little dots there are when it's zoomed in. Must be hundreds. So comment down below and let me know which is your favourite out of the two and also thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this painting video don't forget to check out the rest on my channel. 
and hopefully I will see you again soon.